Well guys, part three. What are we gonna do here? Well, we're about to find out. Let's go into our special features and let's add some buttons. Let's scale them. I'm gonna do this very quickly and unneatly because I want you to go through. Obviously remember to rename. I'm just gonna quickly change the style, the opacity, the shape to apple shapes, simple button, and then just command D and you go through resize and rename them so you can keep it organized just like that what, what here we can I'm just gonna add the trailer special features for now so in finder we're gonna click go back up a layer um, I'm gonna type they're called teasers I believe teaser and and I'm just going to bring in these videos I'm just going to bring in one for now here we go end teaser 01 so where it says teaser trailer here remember we set the target by clicking on this target button oh we need to create a track so add a new track on the graphical view we can just drag and drop this end teaser into here and it will automatically rename and resize then go back to our special features teaser trailer button change the target to tracks and stories end teaser choose the track that will automatically going to link it up and we want to change the end jump so basically if we click on here to get the settings, see the end jump. Well, what we want to do is that we want to go menu, special features, and button five. Now, why do we want to do button five? Because by selecting the end teaser, you're selecting button four. So, after you've played this, the highlight is already going to be on button five, so that the um, user can just simply click on the button and it will take you them to the next special features so it makes it really easy to work down the list you'll never forget where you are and it's really handy we also obviously want to set all the end actions for all of the stuff because this end feature doesn't have an end action so end jump we want to take them back to the main menu very good and you can have transitions on everything but I'm not going to do that because I think it looks better how it is it's got, they've got lovely transitions how they are and most of them go to black anyway on this end special features remember the background we want to we might want to set a loop point but I know that mine's same the whole way through so I don't want to set a loop point but what is this option down here well you can add audio to a track now I've got a couple of things I could do because I've got some audio track I believe I've got some menu audio and what you do, I'm just going to choose a um, random sound effect because I can't find the exact one I used. But it's very simple, bring in your audio and then you can just drag and drop them on the menu. So, let's drag this, put it on the main menu. And then when we click on that, you can see it's got an audio track. And you can add more than one audio so that they play after one another. Add it to here and they will just loop, which is very handy. Lovely. So we've got all this cool stuff going on. We've got a very professional looking menu. But what's it going to look like? Well, it's very simple. See this simulate button? It's going to simulate a DVD player. We click on that, it gives us a nice control system. And you've got all these settings down here. So basically, we're viewing it as if we're watching it on a standard size TV. Audio playback, as you can tell, which is pretty cool. We want to change the display mode possibly to six, sorry, to uh, 69 to see how it would look on a widescreen TV. This is how it would look on a widescreen TV. And you can just flick between the two just to see what it would look like. You've got DVD controls here, so we can uh, press the button. It's a menu button, this will take us straight to the main menu. It's lovely to be able to check this. The buttons come on after it gets to the loop. Very professional. Okay. Very fast. Features. 
going to do a second transition there. So, awesome. And then it's going to go straight into this menu. And then it's got all this stuff. And remember how we set it to jump to the next button. Or well, watch this. Watch the teaser frame. Yeah. We've got that transition out. Let's press chapter skip forward, and obviously we don't have any other chapters, so it'll just skip to the end and go back to the menu. So, when we skip forward... Ah, oh, it's not letting me. Maybe if I go to the end of the track, track skip forward, click that. There you go, the button is highlighted on the next one. We haven't done this button. That's the great thing about simulation, as you can see all of these areas in your video, and what you need to change. We haven't made them yet. Very cool. So, let's go into this graphical view. Special features. Double click on the special features to load it into the view. We want to add a new button, so Command D on one of the buttons. Put it over there. Remember to name all your buttons. Main menu. Target is going to be main menu. Very simple and that will take you back using the transition set. You could create another video with a transition between this menu and the main menu but I'm not going to do that but that's just a thing you can think about. What else is left to do? Well obviously we've got to create a video, a slideshow. Now what I would do is bring in a folder because that way you can keep it organized. Now what I mean by that is I've got a folder called end photos I can find it end pictures there we go and I can just drag and drop the folder in and then how amazing we've now got it in a folder and it's a collapsible folder so you can just check that oh it couldn't bring in some of the file formats but that's not a problem you can just open, close the folder to keep it organized and open them you can add new folders. I press new folder. You can rename it, say uh, tracks. And what that means is that we can just put some of our videos in there to keep everything lovely and organised. That's a really handy thing to do. Now we want to add a new slideshow. Go back to our graphical view so we can see our slideshow. Oh. Where's our slideshow? Well, they don't actually show up. You can only access the slideshow through this bar down here. By the timeline, well, there's a track called Slideshow. Click on that, and you should be able to just grab the folder. And just like that, we've got loads of pictures in, and they work brilliantly. Now, go to our main menu, where we've got our photo gallery button, target, slideshows, slideshow 1 and you can obviously rename the slideshow we're just going to set it to the default the start of the slideshow and then I'll simulate click on menu to jump to our menu photo gallery and it's going to display the pictures now unfortunately this is very dull, very boring how can we spice this up? sorry about this how do we spice this up well it's quite easy to spice it up you can add a transition so click on the slideshow where it says transitions I just do a simple dissolve I think that looks very cool and you can also set the time look this is displaying it as a track which might be what you want but it might not be what you want so we're just gonna in fact this has actually converted it into a track so you can watch it as a video track, which is quite cool. I've got transitions and everything. Might be what you want to do, might not be what you want to do. It's beneficial either way. The advantage of this is that you can add, do some settings, set it to widescreen and all stuff like that. Now I've got to go. Um, we're going to have one more part to do finishing up tips. Um, add a couple of extra features and also draw brat burning. So I'll see you in the final part in about well, whenever you choose to watch it, but for me, it's going to be about, I don't know, 30 seconds. See you soon. I'll come up with a new joke.